Welcome back everyone. Hope y'all are doing well. This weekend at the farmer's market, the kids are gonna be there selling some trees. So be sure and come and check that out. We're not totally sure what they're gonna be priced at. Uh, they're actually maple trees from our front yard. Uh, the seed from that blew into the garden. It was uh, part of the weeding process we had to do. So they went ahead and saved them just in case y'all would like a maple tree. So there again, come check them out at the farmer's market this weekend. They'll be there right beside us. Now, as far as the farmer's market goes this weekend, we were going to be there until noon only just because of the heat. I think it's supposed to be about 94 is what they're forecasting right now. If the forecast holds true, we'll need to be getting out of there right around noon. We might get there a little bit before nine, possibly, but uh, no guarantees. Just kind of depends on how Saturday morning and Friday evening go. Deliveries will start at 11 a.m. on Saturday and our website will be open from 8 p.m. Thursday through 8 p.m. on Friday. Well, last time we didn't really get to go check out what was growing out in the garden, so I'll tell you what, let's go do that now. Here we are in the garden. This is the area where we tried out the compost. We're still giving that a try to see how things go. Up through that way. <clears throat> so we step in here. See the lettuce is going. And here's a great example of bolting right here they're just shooting straight up so those lettuces are bolting out last week i was a little bit skewed on that the lettuce i did have in shot was actually indeed bolting it's just been a while and it uh was a small mishap on my part so my apologies for that but it's been dry and as a result we have been sprinkling quite a bit. Probably gonna get a little wet here. But there again, as far as how long the moisture stays underneath these tunnels, it's pretty amazing. Utilizing the shade cloths for those. Looks like most of these lettuces here have had too much fun as well with the heat. Here's the next part of the garden here. We'll have some of the Swiss chard growing, which is quite phenomenal. Been growing for a while. Things are still looking a lot better out here in the garden. You may have noticed there's a little bit of residual plants right there. Our four wheeler broke down the beginning of last week when it was needed to get rid of that old material. So told, told Anna just to do what she has to do. So that's what she did. So it'll just be composting. It won't take long for that to be gone. All right, now down to the second garden. Here we are down at the second garden. See if we can neander through here without tripping again today. I know last week I had a little folly, nothing too dramatic. We have some tomatoes here. These are the tomatoes that have been crossbreeding here on our property for a long time. I don't know if you guys remember the plant stars from last year. We called them PRF unknown because we did not know what they were from the cross pollination. And I know that some of y'all purchased them at the farmer's market, so hopefully y'all have been enjoying those as well. Here are the pepper plants. That's about their time of year to shine. As you can see over here, we're already getting some peppers right over here. Don't know when we'll be harvesting those for the farmer's market, but it'll be some point in time, hopefully so. And the cucumbers are kind of dying out. They've had enough of the heat as well, I believe. <clears throat> Nothing quite a bit cropped out through there. Green beans are looking pretty decent. Without the, with the lack of rain, watering's been our only key. We did receive about a quarter inch, I believe it was, I can't remember exactly. Not too long ago, but all the rain they were forecasting for us to have did not come through as y'all have noticed, which is a bummer. So the grass is still super dry. These are all sweet potatoes through here. And of course the uh, asparagus and strawberries. Yeah, we'll get the other tunnel set back up here soon. Just hard to say exactly when. Plenty of onions left down here. 
and a whole lot more planting has occurred down through this way as well. Well, we're down at the broilers now. <clears throat> we got these guys and gals on the pasture on Sunday. You're gonna freshen up their water here. Looks like they bumped that one over. Good thing we had an extra one there with some water in it. And here we are feeding right now. So it's kind of a bit of how the whole thing goes. Put it into this feeder right here. And then we drop it on down. Go ahead and show y'all how that goes right now. Hopefully soon anyway. Still putting some feed in there. <clears throat> Just lift up on the lid. Drop the feed right in. Then generally come running to it. Here they come. Yeehaw, feeding time. Well, guys, that's all we had for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you this weekend at the farmer's market. And don't forget, we'll be there until noon. Y'all have a good one.